Right folks, we get so many questions in the comments section about size. Shall we have a look at the sizes of the drawers? Get your drawers out, baby. Okay. Okay, so we've got four of the most popular air fryer and air fryer combinations here, starting from the uh, 3.8 litre Kasori, the light. Then we've got the 5.5 litre XL. XL. Then we've got the uh, is it X six point, is it a six point four litre? This is the dual blaze Kasori. We've got the Ninja Foodie AF four hundred, and we've also got the fifteen in one Ninja Ninja Foodie. pressure Foodie. cooker. It's the Ninja Foodie. The Ninja Foodie, yeah. And we always get asked about the size of drawers. Can you get this type of tin in? Can you get that type of tin in? So we're going to have a look now, and we're going to actually measure each individual air fryer drawer. And let's see what cake kin, kins. What cake tins? What tins fit inside the drawers? Let's have a closer look, folks. So these do range from the cheapest as well, along uh, to the actual dearest. They're actually in order, Sharon, aren't they? These are. Well, they're, yeah. they're cheapest to do. So we'll start off with the um, the small kasori. The small kasori, three point eight litre. Which is lovely, a lovely one. Now the drawer measuring across and depth is seven and three quarters inches by seven and a three quarter inches now we've got three standard cake tins here now you may notice that some of these come with big lips on you don't want the ones with lips on folks you want the ones with the smallest lip you can get on this one's a silicone one that's like the one we've done the omelette with the other day Sharon, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah and anyway so we'll start off with the six inch one so the six inch one goes into that little kasori absolutely fine there so Perfecto. again you may want to get the silicone ones which is a, a lot easier for yeah putting them in you may you may get a seven inch one in there shall let's try the seven inch one so that's a seven inch one but if you had a big lip on that seven inch tin you would not get that in so a seven inch one will go in the small 3.8 litre kasori light with a small lip now uh, people aren't silly yeah that's not going to fit in that's there not going to fit in there is it baby? of course you don't but it's not a lot in it no but uh, I think if you had a silicone one, Sharon... Yeah, you... but then you're losing the shape of your cake, aren't you? Of course you, you are. So course don't, you are. don't do it, people. Don't do it, people. So... So there you go. Seven and three quarter. So you're seven and three quarter. Let me get the tape measure, shall Because one of the other things they do uh, ask as well is how deep is your basket? Now, looking at that, I'm going off of there, folks. We're looking about... Oh, let's have a look there. Three and a half. About three and a half inches, yeah. You take the basket out. You can take that you out. you can use it without the basket. Yep. Yeah. And that is four and a quarter inches with the crisper tray out. So that's that one. Right, this is the 5.5 litre Kasori. This is a good one. XXL. This is a very big tray on this one. Let's open this one up. And you can see there the width of that. Now we've had to go by the inner basket, folks, okay? This handle does come off here. This is something you probably need to know as well. And you push that little safety lock off and press the handle down and actually removes the whole tray that's for basically for cleaning purposes. The trouble is, is that you can't use so, that as a tray now because obviously you've lost the handle. And it won't shut. So we've had to base the measurement on the internal diameter, uh, not diameter, the internal measurements of the actual crisper tray itself. So but that just, is still an excellent size. Yeah, so if we put that like that, that's eight and three quarters wide, to there to there, and eight and a quarter, I call that deep. Now the reason why that is, folks, you may notice that the screws are on there. So I've had to measure from the screw to the back of the vents there. That's the reason there why it's not measured from the back there. So it comes from the screws there. So obviously, Sharon, that's gonna fall in there. Easy peasy. Six inch tin falls in there. The seven inch tin. Easy peasy. Absolutely fantastic. And the eight inch tin without any lip on. Easy. That, uh, as you can see, that actually falls Plenty in room. there. There you go. So that's your maximum size, an eight inch tin. You don't really get a nine inch cooking tin, cake tin, to be honest with you, Mario. No, right. most people cook in a seven and an eight, yeah. don't they? Or a six inch. Well, it's usually a seven inch is the bog yeah. standard Victoria's bunch. So we did measure the depth on that one, shall yeah? Oh, sorry, peeps. So again, we're going to measure the depth with the uh, tray in. And that comes in at about just, just under four inches, folks. So the depth is just under four inches. That figure might be 
interesting to you because if you're putting something like a chicken in there. And if you've got one of these people, get yourself the parchment liners. It saves you a lot of aggro yeah, well, with the cleaning and rubbing on these. Right, moving on now to the one we've just got hold of. And again, we absolutely love this one. I'd love the previous one This is one the Kasori well. Jewel Blaze, folks. Now, this is the biggest of the range so far. This comes in at nine and a quarter inches wide and also nine and a quarter inches deep. Now, you may notice there that the screws are actually situated in little recesses there, so they don't actually interfere with the, uh, the actual sizing. And that is a massive one. Now, we'll put it in just for the sake of it, shall Six inches, easy. Seven inches, falls in there. Eight inches, falls in there. Now, can you see the space around the eight inch tin, folks? Just to let you know, look, top, back, front, and side. You could possibly get, if you can get hold of them, a nine inch tin in there without a lip on. I suppose you can order them, yeah. yeah. So that is a good size. Now you've got two measurements here, which we're gonna measure from the crisper tray. Up, uh, that again is the same as the previous one, just under four inches. And if you lift the crisper tray out here, now you've got just under five inches there, so you gain an extra inch on the depth of I that one. I don't know if people know, sometimes you find it's really tight to push in. Yep. So when you put these in, put them in like that first, yep. and then down, and then push. And what you can also do, Sharon, is get a bit of olive oil, because you've got these little, uh, this one's yeah. quite tight, because it's new. If you just put your finger in some olive oil, and just rub a bit of olive oil on there, it makes it slide in a hell of a lot easier, just to let you know that, folks. So right, so that's that one. Good size, the Kasori Dual Blaze. They do say, which one do you prefer? And this is the two, the main two now, isn't it? You know, they both have their good, this has two drawers, but this is the one I use all the time. So that should tell yeah. you. Yeah, and before we had this, it was a 5.5 we used And it's a lot time. cheaper yeah. than this. Yeah, right. Now, this is the Ninja AF400, the dual tray one, which everybody talks about. Quite surprising. Let's get the tray The out. width is only six and a half inches wide, folks. The depth of it is eight and a quarter inches. So you can see the vast difference there in sizes from them two there. And if we get the six inch caked in, shall we? Put that in there. Just fits. You're not getting no more bigger than no. a six inch caked in. So if you're a baker and you like baking cakes, possibly this one isn't the one for you. Mm. Try the seven inch, shall It won't go in. No, it won't go in. But, you know, you don't want to be forcing it in like that, folks. You don't like. want to cake that shape to That's just the seven inch one. So you that's can not... maybe get a loaf tin cake. Yeah, tin. you can go loaf tin, but we haven't got one of them, no, folks. No, I haven't got the one. The nearest we've got to a loaf tin at the moment is these liners we've bought here, haven't we? Yeah. You could probably do a cake maybe in one of those liners, for example. I'm just worried, like, when you put the mixture in, it's going it's to lose spread, its yeah, shape. Yeah. So... so maybe or maybe not, that's a yeah. good idea. But that's the liners we use for them anyway, folks. But as I say, for baking, no, you're not going to be able to get away with that, are you? But you've got the dimensions there, and also the depth. If we look at the depth of this one, this one is about four and a half inches with the crisper tray in. And the crisper tray out, you've actually got five and a half inches, so you've got depth in there as well. And we've actually cooked a one and a quarter pound chicken in there, aren't we? Mm. Full chicken in yeah. there, so you can put a chicken in there, you can get That's one in. That's why we went for this one originally, I don't think there was so much of them about, was for the chicken, and that was why I wanted the Ninja, mainly because I could get a chicken in here. Yeah, and as I've said before, you've got two drawers there, so if you're a baker, maybe this isn't the one for you. Now, something slightly different, we've got the uh, Ninja Foodie 15 in one. Let's just open that up. You get an internal, call that a crisper basket, I suppose, shall, couldn't yeah. you? The diameter of this is eight and a quarter inches, and we'll go straight to the eight inch tin there. I think, shall we put that in there? So again, that, that will go in there just as we say, but that's the importance of not having a lip, folks, on your tins. Buy the ones without the lips on, and uh, they should be okay. And to get that out could be awkward, but what we normally do... Well, I'd say, don't use that. Use your wire baskets that come with this and one's got the handle and you can lift it out for your sponge. And where is that? Yeah, so maybe not the way to put your cake tin in there. You can take that, as I say, that comes out. And then you've got the bigger diameter of the main chamber, call it that. Even this one comes out, actually, for yeah. cleaning purposes, yeah. doesn't it? But you don't obviously put stuff in there. All your cooking is done within this vessel here. Yes. And that is nine and a half inches there, folks. And what Sharon was saying is, you cut, it comes with these sort of hanging basket things where you could probably place your, your cake tin on there and you then get, obviously, handles yeah. as well. 
And you could probably get a nine inch tin in there as well, Sharon, I would say, because it's nine and a half yeah. without a lip on. Yeah. So that don't forget, folks, this is an air fryer as well, as you can see the element on the top there. This is very, very good. I mean, I've made bread in here, which you've seen in the previous video. I will do a cake in here very shortly to test that out for cakes. Right, so there you go. I hope that's been of some help to you because we do get so many questions about the size of the drawers. That's your standard six inch cake tin. The advice by us is, is to make sure you get the ones with the little lips on. Another benefit is having the uh, silicone ones. Now we've done that omelette in the uh, silicone one there. That's the same size. Uh, we'll, we'll leave a link in the description below this video for this silicone one because so many people have asked us for that one when I've done the omelette. And how do we get the omelette out, Sharon? A lot easier than with perhaps a metal tin. All I've done... You had oiled it though. Green I had tin. oiled it, yeah, and I loosened it around the edge and I was able, because this has got flexible sides, I was able to get that underneath and literally just lift it and slide it out like that. So they've, these have got their place when you're cooking something like that. Uh, rather than a, a metal tin, for example. I wouldn't bother cooking an omelette in that. It, it may come out, you don't know if they were totally non-stick, but um, that's what we used in the last video where we done the omelette. And one other benefit, I think, because a lot of people say, well, is one air fryer enough? And a lot of people actually buy two air fryers. It is, I think sometimes when you've got a family, it's a good idea to have two. Because you have got two ovens nine times out of 10. Yeah. And what we found is, is that we, we mentioned when we first got a single air fryer that we was using our main oven as a warming oven. Well, we don't actually do that anymore now because now with two air fryers... I haven't, don't own all these. No, we don't own all these. That one goes... We, we give that one to Lee Van Camp. That one is in our uh, son's Charlotte's. kitchen next door. I own these. We, we got these three here. So we this don't need to use though. that anymore, Sharon, no, do we? No. So two air fryers are a good way to go. And if we had our choice of having two air fryers, what would you choose? These two. Right. So you would have that over that. Yes. over the ninja yes there you go folks. well also because this is also a pressure cooker and it does the best stews ever yeah so there you go but that's still a great air fryer but if you're a baker you may want the ones there you can yeah. fit tins in because you're going to be restricted with that one there you go I think that that's one enough. is fantastic people if you want my advice i think i think that's enough now isn't it yeah i think you've got enough information out of that folks we'll leave the links to our silicone bowls in the description just below this video if you are interested and even uh, the six inch cake tins as well which we have done that's what you've done your victoria sponge in wouldn't it uh, if yeah. you're on your own that one yeah. and that one are ideal yeah. that probably a bit too small if you're uh, like as, as, Sharon, as a couple that one would do you as a couple or that one as well this is all Fun, singing all dancing that's yeah. got dual elements in it as we we, we, uh, we showed in our previous uh, review video of this we're going to go now folks we'll see you in the next video and until then bye for now bye